What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Soul visionaries and potential soul visionaries out there. You are now rocking with the Soul Vision Powercast. You know that place where we keep it unfiltered and raw. We talk about anything from porn to politics. We'll even talk about the things you might have heard or even saw. I dig this here, man. I was uh I was asked, what is simping? <laughs> Let's kick it. Yo, 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 man, I was asked, what is simping? What is simping? What is simping? A young lady says, oh, man, y'all trip out on a man taking care of his woman. Y'all call taking care of your woman simping. No, that's not simping. Simping, taking care of, simping is not taking care of a woman that takes care of you back. You feel me? Simping is when you try to take care of a woman, give her every anything that she possibly can ask for and she will not do the same for you. Simping is when you try to take care of somebody that don't appreciate your efforts. Simping is when you can't turn around and ask for the same things from the same person that's asking you for the world. You can't even ask her for a block. (laughs) You feel me? So what we're saying is as a man, if you can't reach out and ask your woman Hey, you know, throw me, throw me a hundred dollars real quick. I got to do whoop de whoop de whoop. You know, I'm a little bit short. If you can't call and ask her for the very same things that she can call you for, you know, as, as far as, you know, um, you know, hey, babe, come give me a ride. Hey, can you do this for me? If she does not want to do anything for you, but she wants to be taken care of, bro, that's simping all the way. You can't let a woman just lay around, do nothing, and you're supposed to cater to her every need, you're supposed to worship her, and all these other things. That's nuts. You're going to run yourself ragged, and you'll wind up resenting her later on down the line because you're going to see that all the effort that you put towards her, she don't appreciate it for one, and she won't do it for you for two. You see what I'm saying? So when you get yourself a woman, make sure, you know, and, and... Just because you can give her a million dollars, that don't mean she has to be able to give you a million. But she at least will put forth the effort to help you out with whatever you need. I mean, if you, hey, babe, listen to this. You know, hey, babe, um, what do you think about this? You have to have somebody that's on your team. And a lot of times what we hear on the Internet are women that they don't want to be a part of the team. They just want you to take care of me. And once you can't do it, Hey, I want to be, I want to, <laughs> I want to be a free agent and I want to go and uh, sign up with another team. You, you want a woman that's going to stick with you through thick and thin, you know, through the good times and the bad times. And when you are the kind of man that's going to put in the work, the effort to make sure that everybody's taken care of, you know, you deserve a woman that's going to appreciate it and do appreciate it and reciprocate it. She's going to do for you. As, as well as she can, what you do for her and vice versa. Y'all going to take care of each other. If you're sick, hey, she come in and I got you, babe. Um, if, you, if if she's sick, you come in and say, bam, I got you, babe, what you need. You know, Zyrtec, you need the elderberry, whatever. You're going to have each other's back no matter what. And talking about the, the sick thing real quick. I heard a podcast where a woman said a man took care of her, uh, her while she was sick and she really gave him some high praise for it. And the other folks on the panel was like, oh, that ain't nothing. That's basic. That's what's wrong. See, that's what I said. They don't appreciate nothing. If that's basic, that's <laughs> that is so... <sighs> What, what is the word? That would be so, oh man, that's heartbreaking to, to, to know that somebody will not only take care of you while you're sick, but risk the, 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 the virus, the infection themselves. You know what I mean? It's like, how can you call somebody putting their, their health in jeopardy for you basic? Basic. You know, when you're sick, you know, we all been sick to the point where we can't move. We can't do nothing. You know, throat hurt, eyes, everything hurt. You can't move. And to have that person come in, bring you some soup, hot tea, 
rub your, you know, rub the sweat off your forehead, make sure you're good, you ain't got to take care of nothing. They're taking care of things around the house that you would normally take care of. How is, you know what, that is basic. It is basic. And that's what's wrong with today's society. We need to get back to the basics. You know, we keep trying to build, build relationships or houses on flimsy foundations. If we get back to the basic and create that strong, that strong foundation, you know, which a relationship can stand on in the sun and rain, then maybe we'll start looking good together as couples. Maybe we'll start looking good together as a family. Maybe we'll start looking good together as a society. Peace.